sites, we're gonna get fucked up. <laughs> What's up? Welcome back to another YouTube video here. Um, gonna be a double banger this week because um, I missed last week. Uh, last Thursday I was at an event, which you're gonna see here. So um, yeah, couldn't upload a video. Yeah, this one here starting out in uh, Evansville, Indiana. Uh, my five game PTO ended um, when, like, if you watched the last video, I ended when uh, we were halfway um, halfway uh done the series there friday saturday it ended on the friday so uh i had some i that's how i got the video or whatever um so uh me and spads here we decided to go to nashville my cousin was playing there um so he hooked us up with some free tickets and uh even more you're gonna see which is pretty sweet um so yeah buzz down there uh i think it was only was it two hours spads ended up getting caught in traffic so it was like six hours um yeah, get to Nashville. Um, we had some time to kill, so we decided to go to Top Golf, which you'll see. Um, never, I'm not much of a golfer. I think uh, I used to like hit balls around, but that was basically it. Um, Spads, uh, he played serious, like he play. Uh, he seems like he's a serious player, so uh, he was nailing them. And then his girlfriend as well. Um, but yeah, so first time ever at Top Golf. That was a pretty cool experience. Um, Where's he going? Nice. Yeah, just playing the games here. I think after a while we just kind of stopped. Um, so yeah, not much of a golfer. For some reason, my swing, like I look like I'm like so close, like my arms don't get extended here. Not that I really care. And I'm kind of like winding up like a baseball because I, I was a junior A baseball player. So I'm kind of, it's like, I think my feet are kind of off. Like I'm stepping, like I'm timing it in baseball. So uh, everything just went to the right, like over the, that right bunker there or into the wall. Like it go decently far. And then you just hook to the right. Um, not yet, you can't even see it because it's so small. But anyways, yeah, then Spads was trying to nail the, nail the golf cart thing here, which he did. <laughs> <laughs> so that was funny. Then after that, we had to, we obviously hit Broadway for a little bit. Uh, we went and got some food. Uh, we got some sushi earlier. I filled up on that. Uh, some people were throwing money off the balcony, so we went and, he went and like nabbed some. But it was kind of funny. Um, yeah, I filled up on sushi, so I didn't get any food, which was kind of a good thing because we ended up getting to this thing called the Lexus Lounge, and uh, all the food and uh, drink for free, like even alcohol, which is nuts, <laughs> and a free monster in the street. I uh, can't say no to that. Um, yeah, here we're just going to roll call, and here we had eight tickets, but we didn't realize like there's a regular ticket, and so then there's a the Lexus Lounge, <laughs> and we're like, oh, we should tell them, like he accidentally gave us eight. Um, but it's a good thing we didn't because that was like the best part of the whole thing. Like, I've never been to a place like that. Uh, you'll end up seeing it. But yeah, here in Nashville, there's Mark there. Hi, uh, Warmies. Rocking the neck guard because he doesn't want to get his throat slit like that one guy, I guess. Yeah, I ended up meeting some uh, Evansville Thunderbolts fans down there, which was actually sweet because we ended up uh, meeting up after the game and uh, they took care of us. Uh, yeah, so it was cool to see that. Um, here's the Lexus Lounge. Um, we were down there for warm up because we wanted to check it out before the game started. Uh, so we figured we'd just watch warm up down from down there. Let's go! We did it! We made it! If you just wander along. Just one for a lot. Shut the fuck up. All you can drink. All you can drink. Let's go. What's going on? Hey. <laughs> yeah, I think Spats said something about the alcohol. Oh, he's on it. There, but um, yeah, I have a mute so you guys can hear it. Hear it over top of what I'm hearing.
bunch of yellow people running through the fog. Uh, we actually missed the first goal getting from that uh, lounge to our spot. Uh, but whatever, there was, a lot, there was plenty of goals in the game, so. And the line was so long. <laughs> yeah, so they end up tying at 1 1. I think this is sick. Like, I, I think the guy went between the legs here, and we'll see the replay, but, uh, like, it's cool. Yeah, it is. Down low between the legs. Thank you. That was nasty. And then they got a second goal. Um, apparently, uh, Winnipeg's been on a hot streak. So I can't see too much. And Nashville's got the wild card locked up, but I think in the whatever standings they're in, they're one, uh, one position back, so it's a pretty tight game. So 3 1 here, and it was in, uh, was it the Gate Pride night or something like that. Uh, ripped again. So this is the Lexus Lounge here. There's a lot of people, which like, if they're handing out free, free alcohol drinks and free food, like uh, <laughs> that's a lot of money going to waste. But uh, anyways, loaded up on popcorn, obviously nothing else. <clears throat> um, yeah, here's Janko here, and uh, he ended up taking the two pound. I think he takes the one here, yeah. <laughs> but he ended up taking two penalties, and it's actually funny because my last game pro. Um, I took two penalties, so I kind of joked saying, no, oh, you're looking like me out there. Um, second intermission, we went back to Lexus Lounge, loaded up on some wings this time. And then there was a fight, and as loud as I, like, I don't know. Hey, what do you think about it? What did you think of the fight? <laughs> Very fast. Very fast. Yeah, I got super loud for that. Um, here's Mark's second penalty, but uh, yeah, it's nice going to like a, like an actual venue where they actually like, cheer and have like cool themes, like unlike uh, the Maple Leafs, where it's kind of like everyone jokes it's like the yacht club of hockey, where it's just dead silent. <laughs> That's like the only NHL game I've been to besides here. But uh, yeah, I don't really remember the first time I came here because it was with our university team, and um, yeah, we were in the nosebleed, so it's completely different. <laughs> Completely different experience um, getting tickets with the university team versus uh, knowing one of that or being related to one of the actual players, hooking it up big time. Um, so this is the tying goal. Second goal, but uh, yeah, yeah, look at the shots 41 to 18. <laughs> oh, that's really close. Let's go! Let's go! Uh, no, so that was the tying goal, yes, and then they won it over time. They never showed the replay, which is annoying, but anyways, ended up blowing up with them after. Um, up in the Lexus Lounge was sweet. Um, my roommate's like, oh, he's not going to come out, he's not going to, you're here. I'm like, what do you mean? Like, <laughs> it's not going to, like, not come out type of thing. It's kind of funny. Um, <laughs> What's up, gangsta? How you doing? Good, how are you? Good to see you. The town is ours. Where are we going, boys? So, yeah, um, after girl. hanging out with him. Yeah. We hit the town. Do that again. <laughs> so yeah, after hanging out with him, uh, we hit the town. Kid Rocks, which is electric. Uh, we got in there pretty fast, so uh, it was three, three stories or something like that. So we were on the top floor. Met up with the Thunderbolt fans again and uh, had a good time with them. Uh, I'm gonna keep talking so I don't want to talk right here. <laughs> um, but yeah, Spads, just electric, I had uh, everyone on the floor uh, sharing. <laughs> uh, well, so yeah, yeah, so they, they took care of us, the Thunderbolts fans, so can't complain about that. But it's cool seeing them there. Um, <laughs> yeah, so alcohol wasn't going down too well, especially. Uh, when he had uh, free, dr free drinks all night type of thing, so, um... Yeah, old fans here, this is going nuts. I like the top part of the bar, because it's kind of, um... You can sit down and actually have, like, your room, because, like, look at the floor here, like, there wasn't too many people on it type of thing. And then we went to, the next day I had an 11 hour drive, only had to stop three times. 
three times for her panic attacks thinking I was dying. Uh, this is Cincinnati. It's kind of cool. You come down like a mountain yeah, and you see the city it. and then, like, yeah, cross. You. <laughs> and here's <laughs> Toronto, the Bud Light uh, influencer <laughs> exclusive yeah, event. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm going to make soft talking because most of it is me just talking, so uh, enjoy that. Me and Tyler here. I'm interviewing you. I'm, I'm the way better interview. Get one, get one, get one, get one. It's a finger point. It's a finger point. It's not good enough for them. Hey, you better get them. They're all going. I want one. I want one. Hey, can I have one? Thank you. That's quality sirloin. That's some good shit. It's a good burger. Yeah. I still want chicken tendies. Oh, I gotta have the recipe. That's a good burger. That might be Leadbetter's. I'm not sure. <laughs> that might be Leadbetter's. The Canadian tux with the Bud Light jacket, you're looking fucking fantastic. And hey, it's going to keep my eyes off right now. Oh my god. So yeah, after the it ended about eight. So after we went to a bar called Locals Only. I think we're done talking here in the party. Um, but uh, yeah, went there with some um, went there with some talent managers. So that was pretty cool. It was a pretty cool experience, like getting it like. And then here I snuck into a, something else that happened after. It was like a Beyonce listening party. <laughs> um, but yeah, pretty cool. Like. Uh, like talking with people that are kind of like you, like uh, I got like I'm like a hockey player, but also like the influencer side. Um, not too many influencers out where I live, so uh, yeah. So it was nice getting to know them, and like I met like a YouTuber who posts COD stuff, which is kind of like how I got started. It's like half a million, and he's like, yeah, like I only waste my time with YouTube because it only like the the most money you can get. I'm like, absolutely, like I totally agree. I've always thought that, uh, like why waste your time with like TikTok or Instagram or anything when it's like pennies to the dollar. So it was cool meeting up with him. Um, the next day here, um, what was this the next day? No, it was a couple of days after, yeah, but uh, Braden, um, he kind of threw me like a coming home party type thing, but it was just me, him and Tyler oh, basically. Let's go. Yeah, it. Um, so yeah, crank here we'll tune into that. <laughs> He's a motherfucking idiot! Me and Sarge are gonna get fucked up. <laughs> So yeah, 
yeah, pretty eventful a uh, few days there. Um, definitely, or I'm definitely recovered now, but like it was a lot of recovering after that. Um, yeah, that that song at the end there, Braden kind of just made up on the spot. A lot of a lot of you guys liked that on my story, so <laughs> that was kind of funny. You just kind of came up with it on the spot. But anyways, yeah, eventful few days. Uh, my YouTube schedule should be back to normal now, uh, just because like moving home and stuff. And then I had all these events that I had to do. So, um, yeah, I missed uh, last week, like I said, but uh, we should be good now. And hopefully back on the weekly episodes, probably more now that um, I can game and stuff like that. So maybe some live streams and stuff. I might start streaming on Twitch again. So anyways, thanks for watching and catch you on the next one.